min max filter in Apple Motion. You can find the min max filter here on the filters. Stylize min max. The min max filter erodes or dilates the light or dark areas of an object. Once applied, will be the same length as the layer it is applied to. It contains a few parameters that we can adjust. We have the mode, which contains two options that we can change. We have the minimum and maximum, the radius and mix. Here on my example, I have two items. I have an image and I have my text. When using the min max filter on a image, minimum will affect the dark areas and the maximum will affect the light areas. For example, let's go back to minimum. If we adjust the radius, it will increase the darkest part or dark areas in our image. Then if we go to maximum, it will increase the lighter areas. Now that we know what does min max do, let's go to our text. We can also use the min max in a text. For example, here, let's go to minimum. If we set the minimum on a text, it will decrease the text itself, even though there's no black area in here. So you can see, let's reset this radius. And if we set this to maximum and change the radius, our text will expand. Another use of minmax is when using mask. If you can remember, when I made my paper tier tutorial, you can see that the mask shows some area here. So if we apply the minmax filter here in the image mask, we can remove these unnecessary parts. So here on the min, uh, minmax filter, if we adjust the minimum, so you can see that it expands the shredded part, which we don't like. So we change this to maximum. Then we will have this kind of result. So that's how to use the min max filter in Apple Motion.